Wait, this is five years ago, the $50, $50 breakfast challenge. Dude, I feel like $50, I mean, I haven't been to a Denny's in a long time, but if it was IHOP, 50 bucks is like two things. You know, I thought traveling three hours south might mean that the weather would be a bit nicer. How wrong I was. It's freezing today. Should we go get some scrum? How much time is it? If I lived here, I think I would have to get some scrum. Things the. 10 gifties, I appreciate it. Hello. Okay, it cold, Greetings, greetings. Thank you for the 10 gifties. Chad, get some. Sub. She said thank you. I'm gonna stop complaining now, I promise. Here we are. Leopold's Tavern. Here we go. Look at that sucker. Today we're scoffing poutine, but not just any old poutine. Jesus this Christ. Is Leopold's infamous punch bowl poutine. So named because, you guessed it, it's served in a punch bowl. Four pounds of taters, one pound of cheese, and an entire litre of gravy. If you can finish it in one sitting, you don't get the meal free, but you do get a spot in the Wall of Fame, and most importantly, a you winner's t-shirt. You don't get it for free? That's, here, folks. That's, That's the whole... Nah. If you're a restaurant that has a challenge like this, and you don't give it for free if it's completed, with all the rules that you get to set, you shouldn't even have the challenge at all. Don't forget the warm-up sour patch, kid. Ooh, that one is tart. Either there's something wrong with this rental car, or I've been driving a bit recklessly. There we go. One-handed. <laughs> what a stud. Yeah, but then, if you're Hi, that worried I'm about, like, your, profit uh, margins or something, then just don't poutine. have the challenge. Okay. That simple. I like the deco. What is that, a moose elk? Something like that. I'm not sure I believe that Tom Petty... Yeah, if they don't complete it, they gotta pay. It, there's gotta be stakes. But it does look very stylish. So hopefully I can grab one of those. Can I get a... That's different than, like, if I walk in and I'm like, oh, hey, me and ten of my friends are gonna get this giant bowl. You know what I mean? It's like, well, of course we have to pay at that point. But if it's the challenge... A Beatles member, but... A Beatles? What? I sound like a Scouser. Oh, man, is this the shirt? That is ace. So it's Punchbowl Poutine versus Godzilla. I hope that's the T-shirt. I mean, you can buy it anyway, if you want. Ooh, look at that. Holy f mother of f That's pretty big. <laughs> it's kind of eerily quiet now. You're just gonna have to listen to me, you know, like my lips smacking. There's for nobody in here either. However long it takes me to It's empty. This, assuming I can. I think that's the hearing. You don't think I'm gonna finish it? No? <laughs> nah, dude, that place is f***ing empty too. Holy shit. That did not look that good. Let us continue. We'll see. I think we're gonna need this secondary plate. I need to be taller. Should have bought one of those booster seats that toddlers get in cars. Leopold's tablet. Wait, is he gonna eat right? this with? And you're famous for this, the punch bowl poutine, right? Yeah. How much does it cost? $58. One sitting, if you finish it, I get a t-shirt. You it's don't think I'm gonna do it, do you? 58 bucks for that? <laughs> I love how, uh, I'll show you are. I'm not gonna finish it. Me yeah. For yeah, I don't know about that one. YouTube videos. <laughs> not for anyone's health. You can still change your mind, you know. I don't even know how to eat it. Shall I just eat it out of the bowl? Ooh, it's still pretty hot. Yeah, that'll be the gravy. One of nature's finest liquid insulators, and a good job too. Nothing like a belly full of cheesy chips to warm the very marrow of your bones. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. And uh, it wouldn't be much of a Canadian adventure without the national dish of Canada now, would it? And as you can no doubt see, that's what we're doing today. I've already got gravy in my beard. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a time limit or not? Nah? It's hot. Yeah, you said that already, you big wazzock. Also, if you're, uh, if you're triggered by slurping noises, I know some people are, you might want to sit this one out. I'm trying to be as elegant as possible, but eating out of a punch bowl has its limitations. There are worse things to get in your beard than gravy. It'd be a nice treat later on on the drive home. It reminds me a little bit of, uh, like a 
good old fashioned British roast dinner. Apart from the cheese, of course. I've not got very far yet. Still, it's still pretty full. <laughs> it is the perfect antidote, though, to the uh, the ambient temperature. It's warming me up. Oh, you called, mate? I'd, I'd never have guessed. Not like you mentioned it 38 times already. Anyway, Leopold Stavin, uh, Punchbowl Poutine. This historically has been meant to share, but they put out a post on Instagram not long ago saying that if one person could finish it solo, they would get uh, a Polaroid on their wall of fame and a t-shirt. And uh, nobody has done it at this location yet. I'm very adamant you should get it for free too. One of the other many locations around here. I think the service said they've got like 20, 21 locations. Dude, he's crushing it. I think. Gotta get some of the chips that have fallen over. I'm trying not to make a messy table, but um, it's kind of happened already. I'm, I'm sorry. This is going down now. I've made it then at least. <laughs> I think she's coming around. Look at the steam still coming off it. Yeah, it's holding its heat surprisingly well. Probably because like it's all stacked. I suppose I haven't really been eating that long. The bottom's insulated. Wait, should you go get a shirt? <laughs> you starting to think you might have been wrong? <laughs> you never know though. It's pretty rich. <laughs> the music is off though, so I thought I would try and eat reasonably quickly. So you didn't have to listen to me eat for too long. Can I possibly get uh, a Diet Coke? Do you have Diet Coke? <laughs> That'd be amazing, thank you. That's his, I feel like this is his signal of, yep, I got this. Between this and the last challenge, I'm gonna have feet like an elephant. Worth it though. This is the first time actually in ages I've had proper poutine with the squeaky little cheese curds and everything. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Almost there. Dude, he destroyed that thing. 13 oh. minutes? That's refreshing. Four pounds of potatoes, a pound of cheese, and a liter of gravy, which makes it about seven pounds. It's a bit mad to think that I did more than double that in 10 minutes, I think, at the Poutine World Champs 2019. Glory days. I'm over the hill now. Dude. <laughs> that was f nothing for him. God damn! You like it? He it finished like eight it. seconds ago. I enjoyed it. You didn't think I was gonna do it, did you? No. <laughs> I didn't know you were famous. I think maybe infamous is a better word. Was that about 20 minutes, something like that? I think my lay was less. How do you feel? How do I feel? I feel like. I'd like to look at your dessert menu. Do you have a dessert menu? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no Deep fried cheesecake. Can no, it's not. Please, You're being you. lied to. It's I'll awful. As well. I'm really excited. I'm, I'm, if anything, too excited. Nobody should ever be this excited about tea. Deep cake. fried cheesecake? Nah, dude. Cool. That's a trap. I've taken worse photographs than that. This flipping lens is killing me, man. I'm gonna have to go back to the old one. Eat fried cheesecake. What a time to be alive. Thank you very much. I think I, I just know this is gonna taste good. Oh. Tasty. Is there anything that doesn't that taste good? That one has like a glaze on it, so it actually wasn't the same as what I had. There is. I don't want to hear about it. The glaze looks good. Probably sacrilegious to say this here, but I hate Alanis Morris that music. Okay, that was a souvenir. It's warmer out there now. That wasn't too tricky. It's quick, so it should be two fine. Two episodes, two t-shirts. It's the kind of win ratio we're looking for, yeah. Do you like your shoes, by the way? They've got little tigers on them. 